this is this is the last one, okay? Hi, Alex. You've helped me before. So I met this guy at the side job that I have, and my mom works there too. So I want to find a way to get him. Me and my mom get him. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. Sorry. Well, at one point, he told her he wanted to take me out. He was like, hey, lady, I want to take your daughter out. Well, I didn't know him, and he didn't approach me. But since I've been there the past couple of weeks, he's been really nice to me. Gives me food, he cooks, and it's a restaurant. Or offer me some money, or walk me to the car, or went out of the way to help me. What? Offered you money? What? Like, offer you how? What do you mean, offer you money? And for what? Offer you money? How can you just say that randomly? What do you mean, money? How? Some of you guys, need, some of you people need to elaborate some of these things, man. You guys say the, ran, the most random thing. So, you know, so I met a guy and then I buried him. But, anyways, how do I know if you like him? What? Why do you bury him? Wait a minute. Why you can't just gloss over that part? You killed the guy. I don't know. Or went out his way to help me. So I texted him if he wanted to get a drink with me on Saturday. He said, damn. If I didn't have to be up early, I would absolutely come have a drink or two with you. With you, Maybe next weekend? I said, sounds nice. He said, cool, have fun, safe, blank name, talk to you later. I texted him tonight, asked if his day was any better. He said, LOL, not really, but I'm not trying to complain about it. My life could be, and has always been way worse. What? Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this guy? So I asked, what could what could to do to make it better? Yeah, what could you do to make it better? <laughs> what? What are you what are you asking there, girl? No, don't you ever say that to a guy. I'd be like, I'd be like, girl, I'm having a tough day. And she's like, Daddy, what can I do to make it better? What the hell do you think I'm gonna be thinking of? All right. All right. Uh, should I wait for him to set up the date or wait for him to say anything? I guess he has a, an addiction to the past. Should I say I heard you like me? What? Girl, look, stop it, okay? You thinking of it? Do you even watch my channel? People, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, what, am I, what am I doing wrong as a coach? <laughs> I keep getting these questions. <laughs> it's like I don't even make videos sometimes. It's like I don't make it's it's like I don't make these types of videos where I answer these questions. It's almost like it's almost like they don't exist. <sighs> so should I wait for him? So the question is this. Should I wait for him to set up the date? Or say anything. So this lady is asking me, should I as the woman set up the date with a man? Where's my steak? I need to find my goddamn steak. So you're asking whether or not the woman should wait to set up a date with a guy. Lord have mercy. No, no, I never. When do I ever say that? Stop it, people. This has to end right now. This has to end right now, right now. You never set up a date with a guy. You never do. You never, ever, ever, ever. Niggas have fingers. He has a finger. He has fingers. People, he could just go like that. Eh, 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 eh. Like seriously, man. No, no, you let him do that, okay? You are not going to do that. Um, don't, and the fact that you have to... The fact that you're thinking about this means that he doesn't, 
let him do that. And if he doesn't message you, then it's over. All right. You, we all got to learn to take an L sometimes, people. Sometimes you got to learn when to take an L. Hi, Alex. I have a childhood friend who used to sleep around a lot during her teen years and had the reputation of being a hoe. Oh, <laughs> a hoe you there. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Where she at? I learned recently that she cheated in on her boyfriend a lot. My reputation has always been the opposite since I am very, very reserved. Oh. Since new people often judge you based on your friends, I worry that she's a bad reputation will reflect negatively on me. Possibly. Same birds of the same feather flock together. She has she has changed in a faithful relationship. So I started hanging out with her again. I honestly don't have that many friends. So I kind of cling to the ones I already have, even when they aren't necessarily the best. So should I hang out less with her and not tell the guy that I'm seeing that she's my friend? We're all in the same city, so he'll probably hear things. Or should I not care and trust that he will see my own character? And how can I make myself look better when I don't have that many friends. First of all, ladies, if you're a loser lady, it doesn't matter. A guy will still be with you. In fact, he loves you even more of you if you don't have a lot of friends. Because that means less cheating. And I don't care if my girlfriend's friends is a stripper. I don't give a fuck about that kind of stuff. Guys don't care about that kind of stuff. All right? So don't be ashamed of your friends now. Beware if, he, if she bangs your, if, he, if she tries to bang him. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's what you should be worried about. But being her friend, I don't see a problem with that, man. Um, let me see what else. So you, you shouldn't have a problem. I'm more of an introvert, but don't want to seem antisocial. It's okay, girl. Look, man, a guy, you think a guy's going to say, man, the only problem with you being antisocial is if you're in a relationship with him and because you don't have friends, you just want to hang out with him all day. That's a problem. That's a problem. If you're antisocial, you also have to be an independent antisocial. In other words, you have to be okay with being alone so that you don't suffocate him with your needy antisocial energy. I understand making more friends will be best, but that takes time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's better to make friends, but keep her at a distance until you make more friends. That's my advice for you. Keep her at a distance until you make more friends. Um, the only time a, rep a bad reputation does hurt you is if you live in a place that's very conservative, you know, or or you're doing business and or all of your friends are cheaters, or all of your friends are strippers, and that's a problem. But if one of your friends are just or have that, then it's no big deal, to be honest with you. You're thinking too much about it. It just it just means you like them, that's all. All right, next person. All right, ladies. So finally. I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. This course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, 
the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature, I will come, that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The Transformational Seminar in a Pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase Audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I could promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.